Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Enderman Stranger 3 here coming with a new vid. Well, a, re a redo. Because I messed up on the last one and I can't take messing up. Um, I know, Scruff McGruff. Y'all can see the hair is getting long, though. Um, but I have here basically my top five brand, sneaker brands ever, in my opinion. Um, and silhouette, the top, my my favorite, my number one favorites out of that. Now there was a little, a little um, kind of issue in the, in the last one, and I'll tell y'all right now which one it is. That way I could jump to it and kill that off, and I don't want to boil you off, and that's why I had to redo this one. Um, but it is on these three right here. Um, I had I couldn't I couldn't choose between these three right here. It was so hard. You know, there was so many so so many sentimental value behind it. Um like okay. In fact, this is one that I've had in my hands, the OG version, which had more of a blue tint than this uh orange tint. I don't know what they did to this one, but it's still beautiful. This one is like Amazing because in all honesty, it looks like right here. You see like it looks like it has like an a yellow orange tint But in all honesty, it's because of the lighting But then when you have like that white lighting like that white white um, Lighting you'll get that blue hint that everybody was talking about um, But this sneaker right here my all-time favorite Foam posit and the only foam posit left in my collection. I sold all my foam posits there's only a couple foam pods I probably will, be, will ever go for again. And that's if they bring the stealth foams back. Um, the uh, cough drops. Um, and uh, my the Royals, I, I do like the Royals, but uh, not really. And the Metallic, the Dornbeckers. There's a couple I, like I, was, I would give, but not pay these resale prices now. Now, Dr. Dooms, I did want. I still want, and I slept on, and I, but I, that's the thing. I don't have no outlets like that, that close. And they went to the outlets and, you know, whatever. But anyways, that's that one. Now, this one, it would be that one a little more because, excuse me, there's more of a sentimental value between it for this one, the Pippins. Um, I always wanted this sneaker since I was a kid. Since I saw... Um, uh, Pippin rocked them, and then also George of the Jungle was a, a big inspiration in this sneaker. Um, there was another movie, a couple TV shows also that people were rocking this movie. I mean, this movie, this sneaker, and it's so much sentimental value. This sneaker will never leave my uh, my collection. And the other thing is, once I was able to get him, yeah, I even went, had a, I even went up a, a size, and I have. A shield protector, um, just cause if it could fit right, um, but then it does. And yo, I love these, 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 and, and me and my wife, we got them. So, you know, she used to make fun of this sneaker. Now it's her, one of her top favorite sneakers. She almost dogged her. She had to retire them for a little bit. She hasn't worn them in almost a year. And I know, no, she actually broke them out not too long ago, but she barely wears them out because she wanted, she used to wear them all the time, and just like her Space Jams. Um, right now, I'll tell you right now, in all honesty, it's her Space Jams, her threes, and um, these right here, our top three Nike Jordan type of uh sneaker, and she has a the the black and uh, gray um, sixes they brought out for only kids, which is fire. But those two are not the ones that are in the top five. I ended up at the, in the last video that I tried to make and I messed up real bad and I had to redo. And I just had to put this silhouette because it is. I just, it just has more sentimental value and it's something that I really had to get um, again because I have my 2006 pair. And it's actually only a retro three time and it's this bad boy, the Godzilla. I've rarely rocked these 
And when I do, I do rock them. I mean, I rock them at least once or twice a year. The reason why is because I don't want to beat them like I did my other ones. My other ones, they can be restored, but my other ones are just wow. Um, and these bad boys just have so much sentimental value. Um, there was a friend I used to have in middle school who got these. And, yo, I was just like, bro, those are fire. Mama. Then at that time, my wife, my, my wife, <sighs> I'm telling you, yo, do not wake up early in the morning or just wake up and, and, and I don't even think it's that early, but don't just wake up and make a video. But I wanted to do this video from that since yesterday, but yesterday was family time and you know, praising God, you know, that time. So, you know, nope. And anyways, uh, yeah, this sneaker right here has so much sentimental value, you know, from then. And if you've noticed, a Nike Wise 96 was very hard for me, very heartbreaking for me because that's when the temples came out, the Mark temples, the foams, and these, um, and honestly, these three, those three right there, I was liking them more than any Jordan that released that year. Um, that year was more, 96 was more, and they you know you're gonna be like, oh, the 11s or the 11s. Uh, there's only one 11 that I truly, truly love to this day, and that's the Space Jams. Um, I remember the Space Jams actually from the movie, and we didn't get it till 2000, and then it wasn't even the correct one. But to my opinion, the one that recently came out in 2016, if it would have had the 23, it would have been better. But the 45, I do not mind because the 45 is just fire. And you're not buying it for the two damn little number on the back. I hate to say it. I want to, that, that's a little random I have on this one. I'm tired of people saying, oh, the 40, no, dude, forget about the 45. It's the way the silhouette looks. It's true to the OG and the color is 100. So, just relax about the 23 in the back. Uh, you're going for the silhouette. It's not a number. You know what I mean? As I'm like, this right here, if they didn't have a CB34 and they just said Nike, I would have still bought this silhouette because I love the silhouette, you know? Um, anyways, sorry for that little rant. But going from there, we're going to go to Jordan. These are not all like, oh my God, my number one brand because in all honesty, it's fluctuating between... Jordan and Ewing, to be honest with you. Not no offense to Nike or anything, but that's just it for me. Now for Jordan brand, y'all probably would disagree with me with this one, and y'all probably won't really be like, really? Like why? And that's boom, the playoff thirteen. Y'all should know by now, whoever's been following me, whoever's been watching, you know that this is my number one Jordan silhouette and my number one colorway right here playoff 13 this sneaker is just dope all the little different hints like when you're walking you see that little bit of red right there and then the the you know the little bit of yellow and the yellow this is the only jordan that should have this circle the only jordan okay if you see and boy og colorways i don't think anybody either way i don't think anybody did put it on any, on any other um 13 if you see any other 13 with that circle, that is Fugazi. That is fake. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite silhouette. I still have it. This is from 2010. Um, I think it's the only other time they retro these. They need to bring them back, Jordan. Man, y'all were supposed to this year. Y'all hurt me because of that, man. I did get my He Got Kings back. You know, I ended up selling the old pair, but I got the new ones, and I gotta lie, I, I prefer the new ones than the older ones, trust me. Um, but, damn, they need to bring this back. I would call me, I would double up if they bring it back. And I'll finish dogging these bad boys. You know, probably give a rotation between the new one and these. Because I, I, mean, I might not even touch these again, you know. They're just so fresh. I do have to do some fixing up on here because the suede is starting to die on me. Just need that mink oil from Insurinator. 
Um, anyways, uh, now let's go from there. We got the Ewings. Right here, y'all know. Y'all should know by now. I've been rocking with the sneakers so much right here recently. And <sighs> shout outs to the Ewing squad and shout outs to Throwback King. The one who convinced me and got telling me, bro, trust me, you got to try these bad boys. Um, he used to be a husky guy like us, us husky men, but he's, he's, he's done his thing. He's in the, he's healthy now and proud of him one day. Hopefully I will. I love food too much, man, but I do got to look after myself. I know. Um, but anyways, that's a whole other story. Boom, this silhouette is my number one favorite Ewing, and Ewing just kicked out Adidas. Let's just see that. There's no Adidas here. If you're looking for Adidas, there's no Adidas. And you'll be like, wait, the other two brands that are coming up are in over Adidas? Why? There's a lot of reasons why. Um, Let's go with this one. And as y'all can see, it's probably the least favorite that y'all would think. In my opinion, no. I think these have no, I don't like this one brand over the other one. Well, actually right now you could probably put Ewing, then Jordan, then Nike, and then Re Reebok. And then the next one is coming and I'll show y'all. And it's this silhouette right here. The Reebok question is the number one, my number one favorite Reebok ever. And the best silhouette in there. This, this just sneaker is dope. Like, this is an iconic sneaker. This is the first time Jordan got his ankles broken. And I still want those. The red toes. Um, slept on I slept on them. No, the first time they sold out like crazy, did my size. Size 13 in the questions is not easy to get. Um, if anybody got the red toes and not trying to, you know, sell rate prices, I'll say I'll probably pay like maybe 150 max for them. Let me know in the comments below. DS though. If not DS, we'll talk. We'll see. I got to see the condition and all. But I do want the red toes still in my collection. I only have two, which is crazy. You would think I would have more. And I, I did have more, but I donated um, one. And then the other one, I gave it to someone close and dear to me who recently passed away this year. Rest in peace. Uh, Big Zill. Um, my nephew, uh, well, he was a big family friend, but he was so close to us. I've known him for so long that he ended up being like my nephew. Um, and he is my nephew. Not like my nephew. He is my nephew. And he loved that pair when I gave it to him. I gave it to him not too long ago either. Anyways, uh, sorry. Um, but... There's another reason why this one trumps over Adidas and everything. Now, this brand, a lot of people hate it or like it. They don't even love it. I love this brand. I've been with this brand forever now. Um, I always cop a pair at least every year, at least one pair of Fila. And obviously I just said it, Fila. But this is my number one silhouette and my number one color. As y'all can see, Look at that. Um, what can I say about the sneakers? Just so much, you know, from Tupac wearing them. So many other celebrities wearing them. People in my school wearing them at the time. And this is a 96. You see what I'm saying? Like, this was even, I was liking this one even more than the Jordan 11. And I was a big Jordan fan. But there was more sneakers up there to me that were better than the than the 11. The 11 is not my favorite silhouette, guys. It's not, I, I could put it in my top 10, but it's not in my... Is it in my top 5? Well, the Space Jam, I can say that. Now, the Concords, they're getting up there. They're, 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 especially this year, with the high pad and leather, they are um, literally, literally, like... Oh, oh, my God. I don't know what method I know. Um... They're literally up there, you know. The the the, the Concord is creeping up to be my top five, 
um, 11 Silhouette, um, even my top two probably. Um, yeah, depends on how it looks. And I'm going to get them. I'm telling you I'm getting those. I don't know how, but I'm going to get them. Because um, I'm going to hear a lot of this so hyped. That sneaker, every time it releases, is ridiculous. But enough of that sneaker. It's about this one right here. The last one out of the five. The Fab Five, I call them. My five fab, my fab five sneakers. That's gonna probably be the name of this video. And as this bad one, this is part of it. And if you don't believe, if you don't believe that, well, I'm sorry to tell you. Go look it up anywhere. You know, Tupac wore these big time. You know, um, a lot of people. You know, um, Method Man. Um, a lot of people rock Fila, and now, I mean, people are starting to get into the clothes and everything, you know, because of the retro, the whole retro vibe that's going on, the vintage vibe, but, I'm telling you, releases again, Fila, be smart, but release them in big amounts, not like y'all did the first time around, and they sold out, and then the second time around, I slept on it, and, uh, yeah. Mad at myself for that because I did it with Walters and I didn't know what Walters really was at first. Y'all could probably beat me up, but I'm not from ATL. Um, and it's in Atlanta or Georgia um, boutique, it's like one of the oldest, if not the oldest one down there. Well, not sneaker boutique, but sneaker stores down there. And they get they, they get some heat down there, I mean, and they even rock with the felines down there. Come on, yo, even the unions, yo. But, anyways. I'm not going to get into that because it's going to be craziness, but that is all the silhouettes, all the different brands that I love, that I'm dear with. Um, I'm going to try to get my top five all together and do a little thumbnail and show y'all my top five of all time. And that's these bad boys. Right here. Do you want to get in there? Let's see. Uh, if not, I'll redo the picture. <laughs> but either way, uh, that's my top five. Y'all let me know y'all top five. Ooh, blurry. Y'all let me know y'all top five brands and silhouette of those brands. Um, not the top five of those brands, but well, the top five brands and with the silhouette, the number one silhouette of those brands. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite, or make a video on it and tag me on it, and I'll watch it. Trust me, I'll watch it. But anyways, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification button if you haven't yet, if you are a subscriber or you just subscribed. That way you can be notified when my videos are up because the way YouTube is working now is if you don't hit that notification button, they ain't going to put my video up there for you to watch. You're going to have to search for it. Or, I don't know. Um, but hopefully, I want to thank everybody again for the 250 plus subscribers. We made it to that little um, goal. We have more to go. Let's make this family grow. Um, that way I could bring out more content. And as y'all see in there, I've... I've, I've been battling, and I know I'm not these other guys kicing them. But I'm a rare breed, I guess you could call, because I really am not a... I mean, there's some hype stuff in there, but not... Well, I guess not really. People won't think about it. To me, it's hype. Y'all let me know in the comments below, okay? Let me know in the comments below if these, any of these were hype. But anyway... Um, yeah, thank you again. Um, the video should be up by now. I'm crossing my finger. You know what? No, it will be up by now. After this video, I'm making it, and this is that video is gonna be posted before this one. I promise. So go check that video out. It will be the giveaway video. I'm gonna do it now. I figured it out. Um, what I'm gonna do, and let's see. And it's going to be for the first 
Everybody that comments on that video, just comment on that video. And you must be a subscriber to that, my channel. Because this is just for that channel. It's not for an Instagram giveaway. And this, and I'm not going to tell you how to go with it. Even though y'all could go to my Instagram, my Twitter, or Snubs. Same as here, Henry Mistrady 3. Little plug. But, um, y'all don't, it's not, it's not, you don't, to qualify for it, you don't have to, you know, go to there and follow that now. I'm just asking, uh, you know, thank you for supporting the, the channel. Um, but it is a giveaway. There will be, if you are, uh, these are the questions I'm going to ask you. If you're a pop lover, which pop are you looking for? And it has to be no more than a $25 value. It could probably be like $26, that's fine, whatever. And if, or if you want a gift card, and that's gonna be for everybody. Or even if you, you know, my sneaker, my sneaker lovers, my sneaker heads, anything, if y'all want even a pop, let me know, you know, instead of the $25 gift card to wherever. And this is gonna be $25 gift card, already done. No, uh, y'all don't want to be paying nothing. If I have to pay taxes for it or whatever, that's coming from me. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so go check that video out before this one because it will be out now that I'm thinking about it now before I post this one. That's going to be out, so go check that out. Again, thank you very much for all the support. Comment, like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Again, thank you, thank you very much for all the support. God bless. Love ya. Peace.